This video is for repairing a Whirlpool refrigerator with water dripping from the freezer into the refrigerator. I have a late model 2001. This video may apply to other models. You're going to need about three hours to complete this work. A quarter inch socket and ratchet, a quart sized jar, some hot tap water, a bowl, and a sponge. You're going to need to unplug your refrigerator and remove all contents from the freezer and fridge. Find a place to store your perishable items for about three hours in order to complete this work safely. Having a problem with my frost-free refrigerator dripping water down into the refrigerator compartment from the freezer. You can see these little vents right there. There's another one over here. And it's just dripping down into the fridge. You can just see there's water in here. I've seen a couple of fixes where people are doing kind of temporary things. I'm trying to figure out what to do that would be more of a permanent fix. So one video that I saw um, for a different model for a, a freezer on the bottom, they were talking about a drain pan that was in the back and there was a little funnel that was dripping the water down into that drain pan. And I'm going to see if I've got the same thing back here, and I can um, show you what I find. So there's just some little screws right here. You can get whatever tool you've got to pull them out. And uh, I'll tell you what I find when I get it undone. What I'm using is a 1 fourth socket that fits the heads on the uh, screws that I'm going to pull out. Alright, I've pulled all my screws out. Now I'm going to take this panel off and that's the little beast I can see it let's see it looks like there's like a little lip or something down below just need to pull that loose and then there's a cutout so oh. okay so this is the tube I was seeing online it is bone dry down here, which tells me that thing has not been dripping in there at all. There's some screws here. There's a screw there. I gotta take out this pan. This pan here. And then um, I may end up having to take out those screws there and pull the back plate off in order to get to the drain and see if I can clean it out. Once you have the screws out, just kind of pry on it a little bit. Yeah, pull this sucker up, and you can see the problem. Let's set this down. Okay, so the problem is this sheet of ice. See all this ice here? It's frozen over because the drain is back there and it's not draining properly. So the trick to getting this shelf out is it just slides. You notice that if I slide it. It will come out. Now I've got to get this side out. I'm going to work on this for a minute. There we go. My next step is to remove the screws there. Yeah, I've got the screws out and this panel now is loose. But the problem is, is right here where that water is frozen, it's frozen this piece to it. So I'm going to take some warm water and just loosen that up. I can't get this back plate out without detaching the ice maker there. It looks like there's one bolt down under here, one screw, excuse me, that I'm going to take off. So there's actually two more. You can see them, one there, one there. Okay, there's a wire harness along the back. Just going to have to pop those two apart in order to get it out. On the back, there's also a ground wire that's clipped right there. You got to gently pull that apart and now this thing kind of went free you can pull this back plate out this whole ice dam that has formed along the back is what's preventing the drainage you can see back there that little black spot right there that's the drain plug or the drain uh, pipe that's supposed to run out and Empty the water if it uh, builds up inside of here, and that's the problem. I'm just going to keep pouring hot water on there and then sponging it up into this bowl 
until I get it all cleaned out. So I'm about three and a half quarts of hot water into this and I've almost got the ice broken free from the drain tube. One thing while we're just talking about this is these fins on this cooling system are aluminum and they are very fragile. You could breathe on them hard and you'd bend them. So just be careful. Don't damage your fins on this. I have gotten all the ice off of this little protective piece of sheet metal. And now I've gotten to the drain and you can I can feel there's just solid ice in there. So the trick is going to be to put this hot water here and letting it go down in there and melting that ice and then being able to get the water out of there to kind of siphon it out. I really made sure I had all the water cleaned off of the surface here, especially off of that sheet metal dam and then I've been taking a paper towel and just inserting it down in that drain hole gently and trying to wick up the water that is down in there because any water that's in there is kind of it's going to act like an insulator and prevent the warm water from getting right to the ice in that drain tube and well, that was a really good sound I just poured more hot water into the uh, top of that drain and look what I got going on down here. Okay, I'm going to pour some more water down there and you tell me what we get coming through, okay? Okay. How's it looking? Like it did when you poured some at the beginning of the first time. Alright, so about the same. Now it's slowing down. More water. Yeah, the water's all done now. Okay. So I ran two more quarts of warm water, well hot, truthfully, hot water, down that drain. I see a slow drip coming out of that drain tube. Uh, I'll tell you what that says to me. That says there's still ice in there. And if that's the case, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to close everything up until there's no more water dripping down. So the next problem is to button everything back up and I'll kind of walk you through that if you'd like. This ground wire connects right here across that like that and then you got to thread the plug through. So get this hole lined up in the bottom right there. It's going to be a pain, isn't it? I'm going to get this hole through here. There we go. Okay, then uh, you've got two sheet metal screws that go in here. Get those in. Just get them finger tight. And then you gotta put your, if you have an ice maker, you gotta get the ice maker put on. Also, just, you know, kind of the rule always, don't cross thread anything. Make sure you can feel the threads grabbing evenly, because you just don't wanna mess stuff up right now. Get this reattached. Okay, now the ice maker, yeah, on my unit there were two gold sheet metal screws and there were uh, there was a silver sheet metal screw and it looks to me like what you could do is start those screws in your holes and then they'd kind of drop through there and you could hang it on it. That's what I'm going to try anyway. Alright, so I got the screws inserted and then when you're putting this clip back together it's form fit meaning it's only going to go one way sorry for the weird camera shoot shots here doing this one-handed is not so easy hey there we go it works okay so the trick is just making sure that you can see the hole right here that's where the spout for the water to come in and fill up the trays is 
So you can hang that there, and then on the bottom is the hole for the other screw. So then just tighten things up. Now I'm just gonna take my cloth, and I'm just gonna wipe up any residual water that's laying around here. Uh, also, look, this edge is sharp. Be careful, don't cut yourself. So freezer's put back together. Got the tray in, got the shelf in, the ice maker. Everything is screwed in. I can close this and put the back uh, back together.